My name is Stephen Mays. I'm director of Seven. It's the photo agency representing photojournalists. I've been working in photography for 25 years. Started in photojournalism as a newspaper photographer originally. Ran Network Photographers in London. A very similar setup to Network, a cooperative owned by the photographers, uh, doing very serious work. I then took a, a, a turn to commercial, worked with Getty for a while, um, and Photonica in Japan. Worked in the art side of things with uh, iStorm, which was very interesting, and uh, also in the fashion area with Art and Commerce in New York. So I feel like I've, I've been around the square, and it's, it's actually been all a, a really important journey because all the pieces are connected. And I think there's a, there's a difficulty in the industry that people think in silos. You know, photojournalism doesn't feel connected to commercial, and commercial doesn't feel connected to art. Uh, and actually, they all are, uh, and because essentially they're all communication media, and they're all going to the same audience. And I feel that you know, collecting wisdom from all these different areas has been very important. It's never been an easy industry to get into, and it it isn't easy now. And I think the same qualities apply now as they always did, which is it starts with having some kind of vision. What do you want to say? Be, be aware of what it is you want to contribute. And I think if if you, if all you want is just to somehow be present. You just want to be published, you want to have your name out there. I think it will always be difficult. But if you have a voice, if you've got a message that you want to convey and you're determined to do it, there is always a way. And people say there's too many photographers in some ways. It's true, but there's never enough good ones. And there's always room for people with, with something to say. How to do it? I think it's the most exciting time in, in, in the, you know, photography's been around for 160 years, now 170 years. And, you know, it's always been developing and evolving. And I think this is as exciting as it's ever been and in, in, in I look back over the history of photography. So I think the opportunities both you know, as a technological medium, as technology and culture are somehow intertwined in the, in the internet and in distribution of, of information. You know, as, a, as a technological medium we're right in the middle of that so I think young photographers have extraordinary opportunities to insert themselves in many many ways. And the most difficult way, of course, is to get yourself into advertising or into magazines. The easier ways are to somehow find places uh, on the internet. Um, and it's, it's, the truth is it's a mixture of all of these things. And there, there are various, uh, um, various ways of doing that. And th there's an old marketing saw, which I, I refer to a lot, which is when you're looking for a client, you're looking for someone to actually buy your material. It takes seven points of contact. And you know, a touch point can be anything. It can be a face-to-face -face meeting, it can be a phone call, an email, or it can be as indirect as somebody just seeing your name or hearing your name being mentioned by a colleague. Um, but it takes seven points of contact to change a prospect into a client. And so I think in terms of how you actually do it, it's to find those touch points. It's to be talked about for good reasons, I hope. Um, get your name out there, get yourself in front of people. One of the traps that people fall into is to think that I've got a great message, I've got a fantastic story, I wonder who's interested. And various things go wrong when you do that, one of which is you tend to end up with a very unfocused story. Uh, if you know who you're talking to, you can, f you can position it in a way which you know, the narrative is clearer, the, the communication style is, is focused, um, and you also know who you want to address when you're, when you're selling it. There's a certain static feel about people in, not people, about the, the approach to still photography. And in a way it's not surprising because we think of it as a still and it sits there and it's in a frame somehow, whether it's on a wall or in a magazine or in a book. And you know, I, I, I see that very much here, that people are you know, framing this stuff, they're hanging it up and they're staring at it. And in the world outside, that's not how imagery is being used. Imagery is being used in a much more dynamic way. And you know, we're dipping our toe into it with multimedia, so we add voiceovers and a bit of ambient sound and you know, we produce these, these AVs or multimedia pieces. But it's, it's, it's the nursery slopes of communication. And you look at what's out there and how people are using multimedia online and indeed in print, you know, how, how um, various forms of photo illustration are developing, even in the news magazines. And I, I, I'm fascinated by that and I see that our audience is now thinking much more expansively. Our audience is now thinking metaphorically, they're not just looking for representation. And representation is very important, you know, the, the notion of witness and of, of carrying, you know, facts back to, to home to, to show people is really important. But above that, as well as that, there is a metaphorical wisdom out there in the and in some ways I think our audience has outstripped us I think they're ahead of us this is an audience which is is very uh, conversant with the the language of advertising which is all about ideas not about representation it's very conversant with art which is now very much in the mainstream certainly in America where I'm working now the the, the awareness of art in the community is, is just enormous we've got a little lazy in that we've expected our our customers being primarily magazines in the past 
to come to us and say, you know, here's a page, fill it. And what I see happening in the world is that the the tendency is not is is less and less for the audience to come to us or to come to the media. And increasingly what I'm seeing in other industries is the media going to the audience. So what's happening on the website, for example, or on the internet, is you, you see that uh, people have a space that they're comfortable in, like MySpace, you know, Dig, um, you know, all these places, YouTube, you know, being the more famous ones, but you know, people have their, their space that they're comfortable in, and the way to reach them is to somehow insert yourself into that space. And it means that we have to think, who is our audience, how do we want to reach them, how do we get to them, rather than, which I find the prevailing attitude of saying, we have a great product, come and find it.